My little buddy Chewbacca here has been equipped with one of Fitbark's sensors, which is going to measure his movement in all directions. It then sends that signal to your phone so you know if he's getting activity. So check it out. If he follows me and gets some movement going, he's going to show exercise points. You can check out activity hourly or look at a bar graph comparing one day to another. The inventor says one big group showing interest has been people using doggy daycare or dog walkers. Another, people with ailing animals. Or maybe you want to monitor quality of sleep uh, uh, or a reaction to a life-changing event or a new drug or a new food. Well, you know, we allow you to do it. Fitbark CEO Davide Rossi came to Casey from Italy by way of New York because he was accepted into the Sprint Accelerator, a program that accepts 10 business plans from around the world. Over the course of four weeks when we arrived, uh, we've met 120 successful entrepreneurs, investors, and accomplished folks, both from here and the rest of the country, who gave us their feedback on what we're doing. But he decided to stay because of a lesser known Kansas City claim to fame. One of the biggest strategic reasons for us to be here is the Kansas City Animal Health Corridor. That's right, the largest concentration of animal health businesses in the world, from pharmaceuticals to food companies. One of the first places where Fitbark will start marketing large scale. Right now, the best way for the app to work is to look at Chewy's own baselines. How much does he normally sleep? If he's sleeping more, maybe I need to be worried. But eventually, they're hoping that with all the different users putting in data about their dogs, breeds, heights, medical conditions, that they'll get some standard baselines from all of their users. Betsy Webster, KCTV5 News Night Team.